هاي ومانا التحدي سلمتي ودمتي وكنت الأمان سلاما سلاما بلادي سموتي سلاما Hi. Okay, so in the last video, we have managed to write and save all of this data onto the Firebase database. Okay, and so as you can see in here, they are, right, they are now stored on Firebase. Okay, next on my list is to be able to read this data and display them on the phone, on our screen, on our emulator. Okay, so let's do that right now. So first of all, as you can see in here, I have internet connection right there, okay? And indeed, I am connected to Firebase and everything is set up correctly. All right, and so for, first of all, we don't really need this method anymore, okay? So let's, let's, uh, let's actually comment that out, okay? And now, let's uh, duplicate this line right here. And instead of write, let's type read, okay? Okay. And as you can see, this is now given to us in red. That's because this method is not yet created. So let's do that. And because I'm lazy, I would like Android Suite to do that for me, to create this method for me. And so how do you do that? Alt and enter, okay, and create method. And here we are. Right, okay. So obviously, uh, I will need to use this object right in here because I will need to get the data from this path right here. And so, rather than duplicating the code, let's actually use these two things, okay? So first, my friends, let's copy these, let's cut them actually, okay? And let's put them into the uncreate method, okay? Right above this line here, so that we can use them both from these two methods in here. Now, as you can see, we do have an error right now in here in the right in the right move data to firebase method and so that's because we must make this a global variable or a class level variable and so how do you do that alt and enter and split into declaration and assignment and then let's cut this once again and let's paste it right in here so let's write this type private and then this okay right good and now, my friends, we can go to the read more view data method. And by the way, we don't need this method to be executed again. Why? Because we already have the movie data stored into Firebase. If you want to know how to do that, watch the previous video. Okay. And so we can actually comment it out. We don't need any more. Okay. And let's go to the read more view data method. Okay. Uh, command and click on there that would take us right to the method in here and so let's type some code in here so first my ref i think my reference okay dot add this one add value event listener and then a new value event listener okay click on turn to that and we get two methods on data change and on cancelled okay and this by the way have a semicolon in here to correct everything and for the uncancelled, that's really easy. It's just have, you know, a toast message in here. So toast, tab, and then just type something like database error, okay? And what's the error? Let's read the error in here. Data, sorry, plus database error dot get message. And that's it. So if we have an error, if the, if the user cancels the reading operation, for example, then they will get an error uh, toasted to them. Now let's go back to the on data change method. This is where the exciting things happen. First of all, let's make sure that we do actually have data in data snapshot. How do we do that? A simple check using if statement. So data snapshot dot exist. If, if it does not exist, no, not. Okay. And then let's have a uh, toast in here, which says basically, for example, the data data snapshot does not exist. And then return. 
okay? Which means terminate the program. So, toast this message to the user and then terminate the message and then terminate the program. Okay, how does this work then? Well, basically, my friends, if if the data snapshot does not exist, this will return false. Not false means true. And then this will ex be executed. Okay, what happens if the data snapshot actually exists? So if it exists, that's true, right? Not true is false. And then that will skip this F part statement in here. And right in here, let's have a for loop because as you know, online in here, we have lots of movies. We have objects. Each one of them is an object, really. Okay. And so we would have to loop through all of them to be able to display them onto our list. And so how do we do that? Well, let's have a for each statement. Okay. And let's have data snapshot and then, then movie data snapshot. Sorry. Snapshot. Okay. And then data snapshot this this object here okay dot get children okay and then somewhere in here let's have this now my friends we can say we can say this let's have an object let's create an object of our model class see how, how our model class is absolutely great it helps us all the way equal to movie snapshot movie snapshot this one movie snapshot dot uh, get value and inside the get value that's again movie dot class okay and that's it that's hopefully should work and then uh, remember our movie list our global variable in here movie list we have a movie list somewhere in here i hope yeah there we are see so Right in here, we can say movie list dot add and add this object right here. Okay, and finally, just after a for loop, let's not forget to add the movie add data dot notify dataset change. Remember, this method is the exact same method that we have it right in here. See, okay, all right, okay. All right, and so hopefully that should work right now. Okay, and so let's let's actually test it, shall we? All right, okay, so let's run it. Let's run it and let's see. And Yahoo, as you can see, it does actually work. We have the 12 movies in here, okay? All right, now here's the interesting part, my friends, which is this. Can you see all of this big method in here? We don't really need it anymore, so we can comment it out, or we can delete it altogether. Yeah, if you want, you can just delete it there. But why delete it? Why delete it? Since we can comment it out. So I am going to comment it out using this. Look. Okay. Done. So see. Sorry. See, all of it is now commented out as if it did not exist. Right, and I'd like to add one more tweak, my friend, which is this just to avoid any potential problems let's make sure that the movie list is indeed clear or empty just before just before we fill it in using this for each loop so right in here let's write this movie list dot clear okay and that will make absolutely sure that the movie list is emptied before we do our reading okay thank you and happy coding